In this video presentation, we will discuss about viral diseases infecting cats. Here, vaccination plays a vital role in protecting cats from these infectious diseases. The most common viruses infecting cats are number one, feline pan leukopenia virus, number two, feline callosy virus, three, feline herpes virus. Feline callosy virus and herpes virus are the causative agents for cat flu, causing respiratory infections. And lastly, rabies. For these four infections, vaccination in kittens is very important and must, to prevent this. The vaccine against this four infection is considered as, core vaccine. That is, all cats should receive the vaccine against this four infection, regardless of circumstances. First, let us check the background about these infections. Number 1. Feline Pan Leukopenia Virus. Also abbreviated as, FPV. The other names for this virus are, feline parvovirus, and feline infectious enteritis virus. This virus causes parvoviral enteritis in felines. This infection is caused by the species, FPV, of the genus, protoparvovirus, a family, parvoviridae. This virus causes highly contagious disease, characterized by, gastroenteritis, severe leukopenia, reproductive disorders, and nervous signs. This infection is sometimes confusingly referred to as cat plague and feline distemper. Next. Number 2. Feline callosy virus. One of the causative agent for cat flu. Causing upper respiratory tract infection in cats. This virus is classified under the genus, Vicivirus, a family, Callosy viridae. This disease is characterized by, fever, conjunctivitis, nasal discharge, sneezing, and ulceration of mouth, that is, stomatitis. The picture shown at right is the oral cavity of a cat with ulceration of tongue and gingivitis, that is, inflammation of gum, due to feline callosy virus. Next. Number 3. Feline herpes virus. This virus causes feline viral rhinotracheitis in cats. This viral infection also known as feline influenza, feline coryza, feline pneumonia in cats. This is also a causative agent for cat flu causing upper respiratory tract infection in cats. This infection is caused by the species, feline herpes virus 1, of the genus, varicella virus, a family, herpes viridae. This infection is characterized by, upper respiratory infection and conjunctivitis. The picture shown at right is the, cat with conjunctivitis, that is, inflammation of conjunctiva, due to feline herpes virus. Next. Number 4. Rabies. This infection is caused by the genus, Lysovirus, a family, Rhabdoviridae. Based on tissue tropism, this virus is having target towards the neuronal tissues, so they are termed as neurotropic virus. This virus causes fatal encephalitis, leading to changes in the behavior in cats. The classic signs of rabies in cats such as, aggression, restlessness, lethargy, disorientation, paralysis, seizures, and end up with sudden death of the animal. Rabies is most often transmitted through, bite from an infected animal. Less frequently, it can be passed on when the saliva of an infected animal enters another animal's body, through mucous membrane, or an open fresh wound. Animals will not show signs immediately following exposure to a rabid animal. Incubation period can be varied, and symptoms can even take months to develop. For rabies, we have already detailed in previous lecture. The link is available in the below description. The cat in this video was confirmed positive for rabies virus. This cat was unvaccinated against rabies, 8-month-old, male, stray cat, being fed outside. This supposedly is a cat that was fairly nice, fairly normal a day ago. In this video you can observe the aggressiveness and disorientation in this cat due to rabies.
There is no cure for rabies, if an animal becomes infected. But, you can help prevent the spread of this deadly virus by, routinely vaccinating your pets. Prevention and Control By Vaccination For preventing the first three infections described, a multi-antigen vaccine is used as vaccination in cats. In this multi-antigen vaccine, the attenuated form of, feline pan leukopenia virus, feline callosy virus, and feline herpes virus are used. And they are prepared in a freeze-dried form. Generally, this attenuated freeze-dried vaccine is maintained under refrigeration, and are injected along with the, diluent prior use. This vaccine is popularly known as, FVRCP vaccine, which confers protection against, feline viral rhinotracheitis, callosy virus, and panleukopenia virus. Vaccination Schedule This multi-antigen vaccination is done as per, WSAVA guideline. That is a global guideline, given by, World Small Animal Veterinary Association. As per its vaccination schedule, the primary vaccination in the cats is done at 6 to 8 week of age, by intramuscularly or by subcutaneously, followed by two booster doses, with 2 to 4 weeks apart. The second booster is a recommended dose. In order to maintain the protective immunity against these infections, revaccination is done every year, that is annually. If the kitten is vaccinated in less than 6 to 8 week age, sometimes, the effectiveness of vaccination may be interfered, due to presence of, maternally derived antibodies, which is transferred from mother, to kitten. The next core vaccine is, against rabies. It is an inactivated vaccine. Followed by virus cultivation, inactivation of virus is done by using, beta propriolactone. Vaccination schedule. Anti-rabies vaccination in cats and dogs is done, as per WSAVA guideline. As per its vaccination schedule. The primary vaccination against rabies is done at third month of age, that is 12th week, with a dose of 1 ml per animal, intramuscularly. Followed by 2 to 4 weeks apart, the booster vaccination is done approximately at the age of fourth month, that is 16th week. The booster is a recommended dose. In order to maintain the protective immunity against rabies, revaccination is done, every year, that is annually. So as per its vaccination schedule. The primary vaccination for FVRCP multi-antigen vaccine can be done at 6th week of age, followed by first booster dose at 10th week of age. The primary vaccination for rabies can be done at 12th week of age, and then the second booster dose with FVRCP vaccine at 14th week of age. The booster dose for rabies can be done at 16th week of age. In order to maintain the protective immunity against these infections, revaccination is done every year that is annually. The vaccination against this four infections is considered as, core vaccination. That is, these vaccinations are essential, and all cats should receive these vaccines against this four infection, regardless of circumstances. Apart from these infections, cats also susceptible, and vaccines are available for, feline leukemia disease complex, caused by feline leukemia virus of family retroviridae. Feline immunodeficiency, caused by lentivirus of family retroviridae. Feline infectious peritonitis, caused by feline coronavirus of family coronavirus. Bordetellosis, caused by the bacterium, Bordetella bronchiseptica. Feline chlamydiosis, caused by the bacterium, chlamydia felis. In cats, the vaccination against feline panleukopenia, feline viral rhinotracheitis, feline callosy virus, and rabies are essential, and are considered as core vaccine. This vaccines are recommended for all domestic cats, outside cats, feral cats. But vaccination against feline leukemia virus, feline immunodeficiency virus, feline infectious peritonitis virus, chlamydia felis, and bordetella bronchiseptica are optional, and are considered as non-core vaccine. This vaccines are recommended only for cats at risk. Post-exposure prophylaxis for rabies. That is, regimens to be followed after suspected rabbit animal bite. Following regimens are advised. Number 1. Wound management. Number 2. Vaccination. And number 3. Rabies immunoglobulin, that is, rig infiltration. Following wound management measures is to be followed immediately. Washing the wound with soap and water. Then, disinfecting the wound with disinfectants like alcohol, povidone iodine and dental. The wound should be kept open, for exposure to sunlight. Suturing of wound should not be done. Antibiotic also administered to combat secondary bacterial infection. 
These are the basic and foremost important regimen to be followed after rabbit animal bite. Next, vaccination, that is active immunization. Here, anti-rabies vaccine is given on zero day, third day, seventh day, 14th day and 28th day. The 90th day vaccination is optional. Third, rig infiltration. Rabies immunoglobulin infiltration, also called as anti-rabies serum, which confers passive immunization. This is recommended even a micro droplet of blood is noticed. Here the infiltration of rabies immunoglobulin is done, into and around the wound, on zero day, or, within seven day post bite. Once infiltrated, the rabies immunoglobulin will bind to the virus, and neutralize it at the site of bite. With this we are coming to the end of viral diseases infecting cats. In next video presentation we will discuss in detail on the vaccination in dogs. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you. Thank you.